Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can do a quick cut in in a video. Now, we can use these to create a little bit of dynamism in a video, or we can use them if we're chopping out parts of a vocal track where there's ums and ahs and stuff like that, and use that to hide the edits that we're working with. So, first thing we're going to do is just have a look at this vlog and how we do a basic cut in. So, we just drag that down to the timeline, and you can see we've got this gent doing a little bit of a song to the camera. And what we want to do at some point is jump in to the video. So, you can see here when he points to the camera around about here, and just as he points here, we're going to do a little jump in. So, basically, what we want to do is come to our tools here and grab the blade tool. We are going to chop the video right at this point in time, and then we're going to come back to our selection tool and hovering over this second video and we can select it or if we've just got one video on the timeline we can just hover over it we are going to come up to the transform crop and distort options here and choose crop and essentially what we're going to do is choose the second option here the crop option which is going to allow us to frame the video as we want now you can see it's staying in proportion so it's basically staying in this 1920 by 1080 proportion that i have this video set up in and we can crop right in and this is looking pretty good. We'll press done when we've got the framing right as we want it. And you can see now if we come back here, we'll play this through. And when he points the camera, we get that nice seamless cut. Now, if we don't get this in the right spot, the nice thing about blading this and cutting this is that if we come to the trim tool, then we can move this edit point. If we use the select tool, we'll actually shorten one of these two videos, which we don't want to do. So you can see it shortening the video before and after, which is going to create a strange cut for this particular example. So I'm just going to undo those two cuts. We'll do Shift and Z. Instead, we're going to jump to the Trim tool, which instead of shortening the overall timeline, is going to roll that clip to the point that we want it. So we're going to move this ahead in time to this next point to the camera. And with the Trim tool selected, we're gonna pull this ahead. We have snapping turned on, so you can see that it's snapping right to the playhead there. So snapping is turned on here at the middle right. You can see when it's highlighted blue, snapping is turned on. And we've now moved that edit point a little further down the timeline, but same kind of idea, moving when there's a little bit of action within the cut, which will hide the cut. If we wanna cut back out, say at this point in time, just before the video finishes, we can either use the blade tool or come back to the selection tool we can just position the playhead and hold down command and tap B and that will cut the video now on this video you can see up in the inspector we have cropping turned on and we've got the options there for our crop and basically if we reset the parameter here it's going to reset it to the original frame video so now you can see we'll come back a little ways we're going to jump in and then we're going to jump out. So that's basic way of cutting into a video. We'll delete this video from the timeline and we'll have a look at how we can do this with a video that actually has some audio on it. So we'll drag this video of me doing a short intro here. So I'm going to do shift and Z to fit that to the whole timeline. You can see there's a big gap in my vocal here and probably some ums and ahs. We're not actually going to play back the audio here. We are just going to have a look at what happens when we cut this and how it's going to help us cut out part of this track. So I'm just going to use Shift, Command and Plus to increase the height of my timeline there. We'll come up to the top right for the audio and we're just going to scroll down, turn on noise removal and loudness. It's going to increase the loudness of the video there. So basically, we'll cut this from this point in time. I'm going to trim out this section of video. And you can see if we play this through now, we get this funny jump cut. So you can see here, when we move across that edit point, we get a funny jump because the background's not moving, but the foreground is. So again, for this part of the video, we're going to come to our crop. We'll select crop and we don't have quite as much to work with as we did in the other video but we can still make this work so we'll just cut in a little tighter and crop in there we can even crop nice and tight there and so what you'll see is that when we now hit done up at the top here and then play through 
that bigger jump cut will hide the fact that we're having a cut of the audio there. So basically the original, as we can see here, has that funny jump because the background doesn't move, but the head kind of jumps. But then with the crop setup, that jump in makes that whole edit a little bit smoother. Okay, so a real nice way to hide any cuts that you've got is by using that little jump in and out. And as I mentioned before, if we want to jump back, maybe we will have another cut here where there's a little bit of a pause. So I'm just marking in and out on the timeline. And then for this last clip, I will come up to my video options. We'll come to crop and we'll reset that parameter. And so now when we come here, you can see we crop back out and it hides that little bit of juxtaposition between the two clips where we've cut the audio out. So that's another example. We'll delete these clips from the timeline. At the moment we've worked with very static shots, but you can see if we grab this clip and drag it down to the timeline, then we can also work with quite dynamic shots too. So if we have a look at this video, you can see we've got this girl turning around and at the beginning there's this big turn. So here, just before she's completely facing the camera, we're going to use Command B to break that clip and then we'll come to Crop. We'll choose the Crop option and then we're going to frame in a bit tighter around her face and shoulders and click Done. So we'll play this through. So you can see that frames quite nicely. And then if we want to around about this point, as she's brushing her hair across, we can use Command and B again, select that third clip now of these three, and then we'll come to our cropping options up in the inspector and reset that parameter. And now we'll have this nice little cut in. And then when we kind of calm round again, we're gonna cut back out. And because the movement is seamless, we get this nice kind of smooth edits between those clips but then a little bit more dynamism because we're changing the framing of those shots. So there you can see whether we're working with one of these vlog style videos, whether it's singing or spoken to camera, we can use this technique to bring a bit more dynamism to our edits or also to hide some of the mistakes that we might have in our edits. And then we can also use it to bring a bit more dynamism to moving shots as well. So hopefully this is a useful overview of how to cut in to clips like this. If you do have any questions, then please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.